Good morning, y'all. Before we get started, I know that this is not the best view. I know you cannot see me. I'm actually headed to work right now. Um, it's almost six o'clock in the morning. Uh, just pretend that you're listening to the radio. <laughs> Did y'all see it? Oh, now you can see me a little bit. Okay. Um, but anyways, so yeah, just pretend that you're listening to the radio. I wanted to make this video because I woke up this morning and this was the first thing on my mind. And I was like, why is this on my mind like this? And this pretty much the whole Antoine Fuqua, is that how you pronounce I think I'm pronouncing it right now. Uh, Nicole Murphy, Layla Roshan. And before we get started, I just want to put out there what the things that I've allegedly heard about Mr. Antoine Fuckboy. Um, he allegedly has two children outside of his marriage to Layla Roshan. There could possibly be a third. Um, while he was cheating on Layla with one woman, allegedly one of his baby mothers came beating on the door at his Venice property, Venice Beach, California property. And she heard the alleged baby mama downstairs basically wearing his ass out. Um, of course, we know about how he was spotted in Italy kissing Nicole Murphy. You know, allegedly he got behind on child support payments for one of his alleged children. And I said, show it's funny how you can't take care of your goddamn children, but you can fly bitches to Italy. Because you better believe a bitch like Nicole ain't paying for her own goddamn round trip ticket for nowhere, okay? That's the first thing. Um, so that's probably why you behind on your child support payments, Mr. Fuqua, is because you too busy cheating on your wife with, uh, with bitches, okay? Um, I think that whenever there's a situation like this, I really do feel like everyone involved should be held accountable. Because at the end of the day, the truth of the matter is, there are people out there who can know someone is married and still cheat and not give a damn. And that's wrong. That's messed up. Like I said, I, I've had, I, you know, I've done my dirt before. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and say my past is squeaky clean because it's not. You know, I've laid down with a married man or two, but bitch, I was in my 20s too. And that's not to make excuses. However, I think that people, for the most part, people give you a pass when you do shit when you're younger. And on top of that, you don't do it again, okay? <laughs> you know? Like Nicole, you know, bitch, you pretty much my mama's age, old enough to be my mama, and you are here still doing shit like you don't know no better. So yes, I think Nicole should be held accountable because she opened her legs to marry man. So I mean to a married man. However, the person who should be held to the highest standard is the person that's crawling between her legs. And that's the one that's married. Now we can all sit here and, you know, call Nicole a hoe or call whoever is a hoe, but the truth of the matter is, if Antoine Fuqua was at his house with his wife, who y'all informed me allegedly or supposedly has lupus, then we would not be in this situation to begin with. Yes, you should not be sleeping with married men. But guess what? Married men shouldn't be sleeping with anyone except their wife. So we're not going to do this whole let's drag Nicole through the dirt and not drag, and not drag Antoine either. Nicole deserve a little bit of dragging, but she don't deserve the most. Antoine does. You cannot sit here and get married to someone and take vows and make this claim of love in front of your family and friends and then backdoor and then start having children outside of your marriage cheating on your wife with every other bitch who will open up her legs to you 
and then we put all the blame on the women and that raggedy ass nigga basically get to sit back and fold his hands and nobody say nothing about him. No nigga, you raggedy, you trash, you dusty, you trifling, you a fuck nigga, you a fuck boy. Your ass never should have got married if you knew you still wanted to live a single lifestyle. Baby, let me say something. I ain't nothing wrong with being a hoe, but you need to be a hoe and single, okay? Stop getting in committed relationships or making someone think that they're in a committed relationship when they're the only one committed to it. That's how people end up getting their motherfucking feelings hurt or they got them dick cut off or a finger come up missing or a hand come up missing because you want to play with people's feelings. And the sad thing about it is Antoine, I know this is not a movie, but Antoine really could have been one of those guys who went down in history as somebody who loved his wife. If your wife has lupus, and from what y'all tell me, lupus is one of those conditions where you can like basically gain weight. And when I thought about it, I was like, that might be true because they'll look at t bars look at Tony Braxton. I remember one time Tony Braxton was like, I mean, like, I was like, oh my God, you know? Um, but Anquan, you really could have been one of those guys who went down as somebody who honored his wife. Like, do you know how amazing it would have been to know that after all this time, after all this time, your wife who was sick, you still stay faithful to because that's that's the type of man that you are. And the sad thing about it is, and I've always thought about this, is at some point in life, bitch, we all gonna be throwing back throwback Thursday pictures. You know what I'm saying? We all ain't gonna keep looking the same. It's gonna it's gonna come a point where bitch, we're gonna be going through our pictures like, oh girl, I I remember I was a bad bitch back in the day. I remember, you know, back in the day, I used to get these these niggas hell. It's gonna come a time where, bitch, we gonna start seeing ourselves age and our bodies start to change. That's for everybody. So when you get with somebody and you have to know that there's a possibility that that person physically is gonna change. And sometimes, it can be just because a person let themselves go, or it could be because, or it could be because of something out of their control, like lupus, bitch. So when you get married and you get married to someone who looked like Layla Rashawn, Robin, out of wait until Excel, and then that person starts to look different, and I'm not gonna sit here and bullshit and lie and say that physical attraction is not a big deal in relationships because we all know it is how and ever i think that people who are in committed relationships and you especially when you get married and you take vows you should realize what you're doing you're basically saying kind of like on wait until excel when wesley snipes told bernadine that um his wife had uh, breast cancer and how he would never leave his wife and how he was going to honor his wife, you know, but it was at just that, that, that one week moment that he wanted to just hold a woman and just be all right. And I thought, girl, that's like one of my favorite parts of the movie. So it's like you get with this woman, she has, she finds out she has this illness. And instead of you trying to be an upstanding husband, you you say, I'm going to go out here and fuck with every bitch who going to fuck with me? Instead of saying, you know what? My wife is going through something and at the end of the day, this is my woman. This is my wife. I'm going to protect her. I'm going to honor her. I'm going to, you know, basically hold to my end of the bargain. You don't do that. You go out and you cheat and you cheat and you cheat and you cheat and you cheat. And, you cheat. and then people say, oh, the reason why he cheated was because she got big. No, the reason why he cheated is because he's a fuck nigga. It's that simple. Because like I said in my last video, at the end of the day, the Beyonce's get cheated on, the Holly Berry's get cheated on, the Lala's get cheated on. All these people who y'all consider bad bitches get cheated on on a daily. So if Layla was so if Layla getting fat was the reason why she got cheated on, what was the reason why the Beyonces and the Hollies and the Lalas and the Cassies? What was the reason why they got cheated on? Well, 
Like, y'all gonna have to do better than that. Y'all gonna have to come up with a, a better answer than that for me. Because that don't make no sense to me. So all I'm saying is at the end of the day, you know, I think we have to be careful of what we put out in the universe. I think that, especially when somebody is cheating, I think that everyone should be held accountable. With that being said, you can't drag the side bitch or the bitch who cheated more than you drag the, the person who cheat, who stepped outside the marriage. No, that's not how it works. Yeah, close your legs to marry me and Nicole, but bitch, marry me and stop crawling in between them. It's that fucking simple. I don't give a damn if you walked into your bedroom and a bitch had broke, one of the baddest bitches in the world had broke into your bedroom and, and was laying on your bed squirting. Bitch, you better close the door and call the motherfucking cops. Or call your wife so your wife can come molly wop that hoe. You see what I'm saying? You don't cry between her legs and be like, oh my God, a bitch was sitting there squirting, so I mean, I just have to handle business. No, that's not how that works. Hold up, y'all. Hold up, I'm trying to, I'm trying to order me some coffee. Can you open it, Can I have a large um, iced coffee, uh, caramel? Large caramel iced coffee? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, that's it. Hello. I think I have 59 cents. No, I don't. Here's another dollar. Uh, I have to cents in my pocket. Thank you. You too. Uh, uh. Oh, honey. Hello. Thank you. So at the end of the day, for me, what it comes down to is, yes, Nicole, you trifling, bitch. You've been trifling, hoe. But guess who else trifling? Who guess who more trifling? Oh, and girl, Lisa Ray, hun, I forgot about Miss Lisa Ray, bitch. I'm not gonna lie, girl. Lisa Ray was on TMZ, bitch. I was cracking up, girl. I was laughing. It was funny to me. However, Lisa Ray, girl. Yo, like, like I, I was talking about this the other day at work, and I was like, girl, you know Nicole Murphy cheated with Antoine uh, Fuqua. I said, no, Antoine Fu Fuqua cheated with Nicole Murphy, okay? No, no, no. Lisa, right, no, Nicole didn't cheat with Lisa's husband. Lisa's husband cheated with Nicole Murphy. That's how we gonna start wearing that shit. And maybe this is coming from somebody. <laughs> no, honestly. For real, though, like, I mean, I just don't get it. Like, these niggas really be out here doing what they want to do. And instead of people attacking the man, everybody wants to just attack him. Well, like I said, girl, at the end of the day, we everybody should be held accountable. Yes, but girl, uh-uh, no. We're going to we gonna drag that nigga too. 
drag his ass, bitch. Like I said, if you at the end of the day, though, even with Nicole, you know, Nicole, you still, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. If I was later, I'd beat the fuck out of you. Girl, no questions asked. Yeah. And the reason why I would beat your asshole is because at the end of the day, Nicole, what you what this is where you messed up at. You started trying to play us for fools. Like, don't be trying to tell me the sky is red and bitch, you know it's blue. Like, girl, we see the pictures, girl. We see the pictures. First, you tried to play it into this whole it was a what a friendly kiss. Bitch, what? I ain't never kissed none of my friends on the lips ever. Okay? Then you try to backdoor and say um, you was a family friend. Bitch, that make it even worse. Because if you a family friend, that means you been around a wife. You probably been around the kids. So that make it even worse. Now you apologize and talking about you didn't know he was married. Girl, you just said you was a family friend. Bitch, you knew he was married. Girl. You see how you can still hold somebody accountable? You know what I'm saying? Like, Nicole should have just, Nicole should have said nothing. If I was Layla, I would beat the shit out of Nicole because, bitch, you've been cheesing in my face and fucking my man, or my man been fucking you behind my back. I will monk and stump that hoe. And then I would divorce Antoine Fuqua, and I would try to take every fucking dollar he got. I sure would. Now, I can't fight him because he'll probably beat my ass. Do you know if I was a man and I was in a relationship with another man and my man cheated on with me, with me with one of my friends, do you know how much it would go down in Houston, Texas, girl? Because I'm a nigga, you a nigga, and he a nigga. Bitch, we gonna fight till like, bitch, it's a celebrity death match. Oh, because we all men, so we all gonna fight. Because I'm, I'm gonna beat his ass and I'm gonna turn around and beat yours. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You supposed to be my friend? Chee chee and, and giggling and kicking in my goddamn face, and you supposed to be my husband? Oh, okay. I got some for you, nigga, and I got some for you too, bitch. It's called an ass whooping, and it's called taking all your goddamn money. Okay, it's that simple. It's that simple. And then the thing, then the, you know what the messed up thing about it is, if Layla was to divorce Inquan and try to get every dime he got, you know it's gonna be a group of people out there who gonna be calling her bitter and mad and she need to get over it. What? He put and the sad the fucked up thing about it, y'all. Now I'm so now I'm starting to get mad. The fucked up thing about it is you know your wife is sick. You know what probably comes with the complications of lupus. And instead of you trying to make sure her life remains stress-free, you sorry ass piece of shit, you put more stress on the woman. That's how you know that nigga don't care about his wife. You've been putting stress on that lady for I don't know how long. And you know she been sick. You know what comes with lupus. Out of anybody, bitch, you should know the most. Because you her goddamn husband. The lady probably over there stressed out. Probably can't eat. Body all fucked up. You make it, making the shit worse than what it should be. Because you want to go out here and embarrass the goddamn lady and, uh, and cry between bitches' legs. Ugh. These niggas ain't shit but hoes and tricks. I keep telling y'all that. Y'all gonna listen to me one day. <laughs> but yes, God. Her ass whooping would have been coming a call way as soon as I saw her. As soon as I saw her inside the grocery store, baby. When I tell you, it would have been canned goods and loaves of bread and candy bars going every which way, baby. Do you hear me? Because baby, the way I would have been trying to get at that hole, honey. Yes, ma'am. You supposed to be my friend, girl, and you supposed to be my husband. Out of all the bitches you wanted to fuck with or you could fuck with, you gonna fuck with my friend? Oh, my goodness. And out of all the niggas you could fuck with, Nicole, bitch, you gonna fuck with my husband? Out of all the niggas you could have, all the niggas you could have, Nicole Murphy, niggas constantly shooting a shot with you every day. 
So I know you got some niggas in your DMs. You choose to mess with your homegirl man. Okay, girl. In conclusion, because I'm pulling up at work now. In conclusion, at the end of the day, Nicole is trifling, yes. Who the most trifling? Antoine. Because we wouldn't even be talking about this if, um, if Antoine stayed his ass at the house and took care of his goddamn wife and took care of his goddamn children. And then I'm going to say this and I'll be done because y'all ain't about to get me worked up. And watch. You know what's so crazy? It always be these sorry ass niggas who then want to turn around and then blame the destruction of the black family on homosexuality. I know I'm going off into a whole another another uh, conversation, but I just want to say this much. Y'all niggas always want to blame the destruction of the black family on homosexuality. No, the destruction of the black family comes from the black straight men, bitch, because they the ones who are here cheating on their wives, cheating on their families, and then when their wives say, nigga, fuck you, I'm getting a divorce. Now, how y'all put that on the gay man? How? How sway how? The destruction of the black family comes from the goddamn black man. The straight black man. How about that? Because, bitch, the gay man ain't got shit to do with Antoine or Kevin Hart or any of these other niggas who cheat on their goddamn wives with these bitches. That ain't got nothing to do with the gay boys, okay? Nothing. Anyways, I'm at work, y'all. I gotta go. I don't know why I woke up thinking about this this morning. But I would just want to make a quick video. Okay, let me get my black ass in here. Bye, y'all.